But look guys, welcome back to the Paper Whisperer. Today we're teaching you how to make an origami picture frame, which you can put a lot of things in. The um, if you have um, here one sec. If you have, sorry, I'm just gonna estimate. If you have a nine and a half inch paper, you will your finished model will be sorry. I don't really find, can't find my roller. Will be. Um, about um about five inches by five inches and then it's not it's a flat model it's not completely flat but it will be in the millimeter so there's no point in saying how deep it is so enjoy the video and see you in a bit okay guys so you're gonna start white side up for a color frame and a white inside that's what i'd recommend because you want the whole thing to be white because then you'll have it because you want uh you kind of want the um because you're gonna have a picture inside so you're gonna start by folding diagonally in half in both directions. Strong pieces, make sure very, very, very accurate. Choose two parallel edges and fold them both up to the crease line that they're able to go to. That that, that the corner hit their corner where the intercept hits. But don't make a full crease, not even close. You're gonna instead you're gonna make a pinch where it where it where you see this obtuse angle. You know this an obtuse if this is an acute angle. The obtuse angle you're gonna make a tiny pinch. Repeat on the other side you chose. Now, what you're going to do is you are going to fold an, a crease from this, from, oops, let me back up a bit. Sorry guys, I'm so used to getting used to this. So, um, you're, what you're going to do is you're going to, um, you're going to make a crease from each pinch all the way across, making a, making a rectangular hole. A vertical fold if you're positioning it like me. By the way, I'm making full grease. Heat on the other pinch. Now, I'm going to fold each of these corners up to the these four intersections. Believe it or not, we're actually almost done. Turn over and fold all these, um, these edges, these small edges, to the same intersections. By the way, I forgot to say it. Turn over. me but for some beginners what you're gonna do is you are gonna fold this this whole edge so this edge to this edge be careful not to rip it repeat on this side and then squash it you should make a rectangle with diagonal creases on the edge on the sides now what we're going to do, we're going to repeat that on the other three flaps. Sorry I don't have a perfect camera angle. I'm not, gonna, I'm not easily able to use the Logitech um, high-tech webcam right now. I'm right now I'm just using my iPad, regular old iPad. So it's not really old, but it's kind of new. And no offense, Apple, your iPads don't have great camera vision, but Macs are better. 
Anyways, we're going to do that again. It's going to be a little bit faster. Make sure it's very accurate. That's very important. By the way, if you see this video in the future and I'm allowed, and this, and at that time I'm allowing comments, I will, I will, I do not want any, um, cursing in the comments, because, um, if they, there is cursing in the comments, I, I want this to be a family friendly channel, so if there's cursing, I'll instantly delete your comment, whether it's good or not. Okay, now you're gonna unfold these, turn over. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fold these, these corners up to the edge. All of them. This is the bisymmetrical. That's a word. Um, bisymmetrical um, piece of paper. Or piece of origami. Now, what we're going to do, let me just check how much time. Okay, now, uh, let me check out, I have plenty of time, so now, we're gonna, um, fold, um, this up, down, this is, a bit, this is the trickiest step in the model, now, this still is not that bad, you're gonna tuck these in, therefore, making the frame, makes these creases very strong, like, really strong, I mean it. repeat on the other edges. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is the end. Bye.